A lucky break and the resultant starring role in a Zimbabwean soap opera, Studio 263, over 15 years ago, catapulted this relatively unknown actor to Hollywood status and stardom. When you take up the journey of being an actor, you know, you're living life twice over. You know, when things are really tough and down, it's, it's really rock bottom. But when you're up there in the mountaintops, it's the best job in the world. Typically reminiscent of widely read children's books and fairy tales with a happy ending, Tongai Chirisa has made it big in America, yet he remains humble and unaffected by stardom. Today, he is a well-known movie star based in Los Angeles, the movie capital of the world. He commands a staggering salary each time he steps in front of the camera in acclaimed shows like Crusoe and most recently The Jim Gaffigan Show, The Glen and many others. I had to do valet parking for a year and a half. I drove Uber for another year, you know, and it's crazy because those are the moments where, you know, God has got a unique way of kind of showing you where you're going. It's like the mirror where you see it, but you're on the other side. And for the longest of time when I did valet parking, you know, I would park cars for actors that I've worked with. Oh, I took out with it. It's like, yeah, man, I'm. Just gotta make a living, buddy. That's this is what I'm doing. It's only temporal. I'm gonna see you on the other side. So it's humbling. It's very, very humbling. Um, and I could not have asked for a better trajectory in my career, you know, with these lows and you know, driving producers who are wearing shorts, t-shirts, and vests or like flip-flops, and they're <laughs> they're striking like $25 million deals in the back of my car. You know, yeah, let's see, yeah, let's see if we can get so and so. Like, if we can get him, it's it's done. You know, I got the money. And you're like, what? Born on the 8th of August in 1981 in Zimbabwe, Tongai attended a hotel school in the country with the dreams of one day running a grand hotel. However, a lucky encounter with renowned Zimbabwean movie director, the late Godwin Mawuru, saw him abandoning his hospitality-inclined pursuits, dovetailing towards the motion pictures. He honed his movie career in Zimbabwe with his first product, Tanya Radzwa, winning a gong for Best Actor at the Zimbabwe Film and Television Awards. Like they say, you know, your gift will make room for you, but it's your character that will keep you there. So if your character is jacked up when you are crying with $5, what makes you think that you're going to be any different when you've got $5 million in your bank account? It just enhances your inward, you know, character. And I'm not trying to be that. You know, I'm trying to be... A good steward. Give me five million, I'll come back with 50. If you don't have a balance in your life, you are going to be the person that's going to, you know, strip to get attention or say something stupid or do something stupid so that the attention is focused back on you. Um, but if you don't have the balance of family or, you know, something that's exter external to the industry, you know, it's, it's, um, it's pointless. Major acting breaks outside Zimbabwe include Backstage and alongside the South African movie comic and funny man Leon Schuster, a.k.a. Mr. Bones. The rest is a fairy tale. I think I know what my end goal is, so I'm not too perturbed by what I see in the present, you know, because I know that in the end it's going to be all right. So, you know, stick it out through the, the tough times and enjoy the good times. It's one of the goals to, you know, bring up the industry back to where it was, you know, because before there was a South Africa, there was Zimbabwe.